Dreams of a Sleeping World is a very significant voice in today's reality because the subject deals with some crucial moments in history. To mention a few, you have natural disasters, you have Hiroshima, you have formative moments of mankind which are tied together in sound with art and poetry. Instead of accents, think of a swell. This is going to make it more natural. Here we go. One, two, three. very difficult to translate the, the sound, the, the music for the painting. Of course, the music has the, the time and the rhythm. The painting as well, in different ways, have the composition. Some music is more soft, the painting can be soft. Or if the music has more action, the painting could be, have more action. The most important is the, the feeling of the musician and the, the artist. Uh, have some uh, some kind of uh, same feeling, some kind of same idea. I think could form a good combination, a good uh, collaboration work. Oscar is a grantee from the Asian Cultural Council. A few years ago, he contacted me and said, "Hey, I've I've got this exhibition in Beijing. Would you be willing to write a piece of music for it, for a short video about the ex exhibition?" I was like, "Absolutely." And he sent me a book of all his paintings at that point. After looking through that book, I was like, I would really love to write a piece of music that explores his paintings. And so that was the trigger. The let off is very short. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks. For me, the biggest hurdle actually was putting together the narrative of the paintings. The second hurdle was putting together the poems to go with the paintings. And then the third hurdle was actually writing notes and setting the text and everything to, to music. Each movement of this piece has a personal connection for me. I tried to choose paintings that resonated with some, some place I visited or somebody I knew who's experienced tragedy. For movement 10, I, I decided to end on this beautiful painting that Oscar made for the Hiroshima Museum of Contemporary Art. And the museum sits on a hill overlooking Hiroshima City, and that hillside was actually completely burned and wiped out when the atomic bomb exploded. And the last couple years I've had the wonderful opportunity of getting to know Mr. Shigeaki Mori and his wife, who are um, atomic bomb survivors. And Mr. Mori got, was the subject of a documentary I scored a couple years ago called Paper Lanterns. And he is, he is the, a, a perfect example of someone who's experienced this horrible tragedy and yet has chosen to forgive and move on and be contributing to world peace now. Oscar's painting 
does depict a little bit of the background of the destruction of Hiroshima. If you get up close to the painting, behind all the beautiful colors, you can see that there's a lot of darkness behind this beautiful, colorful thing that's happening. And it's actually five panels, and the middle panel can be taken out. And he's designed the painting so that you can remove the tree that's right in the middle of the painting. And I think the, the symbolism there is that life has returned to Hiroshima. The tree becomes a symbol for healing and, and uh, a positive future. Even though it was Chad's first time in Slovenia, they felt that they were understood. Understood in the music, understood in the poetry, even though the poetry came from the Far East. There was a universal human element, and there always is in Chad's music, that just speaks to people without any delay, without any boundary, because it is honest.